Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble these hose ends, uh, the quickest way to do it and the things you should be using to do it. Uh, the first thing we want to show you is the hose cutter. Uh, the second thing I want to show you is the vise jaws that we use. It's an aluminum uh, fitting for your vise and it has a, a magnetized backing. Uh, the third thing is a AN wrench, a lot softer on the uh, fittings as opposed to the traditional adjustable. Uh, Schaefer's Penetrol, um, I use it for a lubricant. This is the hose that we'll be assembling. Um, it's a 6 AN line. Uh, I'll be putting a 180 degree fitting on the end of this and as you can see the end of the hose is very frayed and it's hard to work with and I'm going to show you how to fix that. And what we're going to do is cut this right off using those cutters I mentioned earlier. Um, and I'll show you the difference. So you can see really frayed on one side and really clean cut on the other. You can put these fittings together dry, but they tend to bite the inside of the hose, leaving uh, shards of rubber. Uh, and the best way to prevent that is just to use the Penetrol. WD-40 would work fine as well, uh, any lubricant really. Uh, what you want to do is basically just coat the inside of the end and then it'll allow the hose to slide up there with any problem and give it a couple twists to seat the end of the hose against the backing of the fitting. Once you do that, you can take a look down on the inside here and you'll see that it is flush with the backing. Uh, I use a screwdriver to come in here and basically just kind of uh, set the inside of the hose flush with the outside of the fitting. Uh, once we do that, I'm going to give it a little bit of lubricant on the bar of the fitting. Now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and back this vise up a little bit and we're going to put the hose in inside of it. Uh, what you want to do is set the red part of the fitting, which is the end, flush with the top of the aluminum fitting that's in the vise. So you can set your finger on it and it should feel flush. Once we do that, we can go ahead and start turning a wrench on it. It's best to just take your time when you're turning the wrench. Another thing is, I like to actually put a little bit of the lubricant on the inside of the wrench, it gives it less surface to scratch. Um, so that's another thing that you can do to prevent the scratches. Um, other than that, I mean, this is the finished product, and you, as you can see, it's a very clean, uh, close build, no leaks. Um, this is the best way to do this. Um, I'll actually release a video soon about how to do the relays that we sell as well. Uh, thanks for shopping at GetFast1. Here's a quick list of all the things that we used uh, in the process of the video. Uh, the Vice Jaws is a AeroQuip part number FCM3661, uh, big end product. Uh, the part number on that one's a 41081. Uh, the Penetrol, which we'll have listed on the website, and then the cutters as well. Um, everybody, thanks for watching, and good luck with the assembly.